Wii U games on Android? It's happening, and it's getting better. Fast Simu Android, the legendary Wii U emulator, just got a brand new update and the improvements are insane. If you've been struggling with lag, crashes, or compatibility issues, this update might just fix everything. Games are running smoother than ever, FPS is climbing, and even lower-end devices are getting support. This is a massive step forward for Wii U emulation on Android. Let's dive in. If you're new to Semu, here's a quick rundown. Semu is one of the first Wii U emulators that successfully ran games, originally available only for Windows and Linux. After a long wait, Semu finally made its way to Android. Now let's talk about the latest update, Semu Beta Android version 17 debug. This version brings some exciting improvements. It now supports Android 12 to 15, meaning more users can enjoy Wii U emulation. Performance has been optimized, leading to better frame rates in multiple games. Stability has also seen improvements, reducing crashes and freezes, so games now look and run better than before. Samu is moving in the right direction, and with each update, we're seeing big steps forward. First, download the latest version of CMU from its official GitHub page. Many of my viewers have asked about the requirements for CMU, so here's a quick rundown. You'll need an Android device running Android 11 or higher, and while that's the minimum, a more powerful device will make a big difference, especially for demanding Wii U games. Once it's downloaded, install the emulator and open it. The first time you open the emulator, you will see an empty screen because we haven't added any games yet. You need to add a game directory. Click on the gear icon in the top right corner to access settings. Open general settings and select add game path. Navigate to the location in your internal storage where you've stored your Wii U games. To allow CMU access, click use this folder and grant permission. Next, go to input settings. Here you'll find several control options, allowing you to select input profiles like Wii Gamepad, Pro Controller, Classic, and Wii Mode. However, note that there is currently no option for customizing the control layout. In graphics settings, there are limited options available, but you can enable V-Sync for smoother visuals. If you prefer playing in full screen, activate Stretch under Full Screen Scaling. There's no need to adjust the audio settings, as this update has fixed audio delay issues. Under Overlay Settings, you can enable the CPU and RAM usage display, which helps in monitoring performance. Now return to the main screen. You should see your games listed. If you don't see any games, you may need to add the prod keys. Without this, Samu won't allow you to play any games. Just open the Samu folder, drop the latest prod keys into it, and that's it. You should now see all your games displayed. It's worth mentioning that Samu supports either physical game dumps in W or compressed WX formats, as well as game dumps converted to the loading format. Before playing any game, you must add graphics packs. To do so, go to the Settings option and then select Graphics Packs. In the Graphics Packs section, click the Download button at the top right corner to install Essential Packs. On CMU Android, Graphics Packs for Mario Kart 8 allow you to enhance visuals with features like aspect ratio adjustments, higher resolution, texture scaling, anti-aliasing, and improved lighting effects. You can also enable mods for 60 FPS, making the game look sharper and more immersive. Overall, I'm quite satisfied with this update as Semu for Android has made significant progress, even though it's still in its early stages. Some essential features such as advanced graphics settings, orientation control, aspect ratio adjustments, and full control customization are still missing. Additionally, there's no official compatibility list yet, so it's uncertain which games run smoothly or need further optimization. However, the Semu development team is actively working on updates and future releases should address these gaps, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me create more content like this. See you in the next one.